Luffy, welcome to Wano. If you didn't play awesome, look at all the strong swordsmen. Oh, it's itchy to fight all of them. Who cares if you're strong? I'm going to eat. Where's the damn food? Zora, this like a good food. Luffy, this is an island filled with ancient samurai and ancient legendary swordsmen. Don't be obsessed with food and have some damn respect, idiot, Zoro. What's respect? Can I eat it? D damn it, Luffy. Hello, and welcome to my Wano Kuni predictions video. Today I'll be talking about what I think is going to happen in the Wano Kuni arc. Now first, let's start off with Zoro. Now, I believe Zoro is going to have his backstory revealed, much similar to Sanji, and this is a vague outline of what I think the backstory will be. As I want to quickly state, everything I say in this video will be elaborated on in future videos, in much more detail, but these are just the basic outlines to, for my theories and predictions for the arc. Okay, so I believe Zoro is part of some royal family. As when he was first introduced, we really only saw him going around and challenging random people in random dojos until he was one day defeated by the wielder of the blade I am holding, Wado Ishimoji. After being defeated by Kuina, he stayed at that dojo for a long time. But there is something weird about Zoro. He has no friggin' parents! They're never mentioned, they're never talked about, they're never, they're never even referenced. Zoro has never once mentioned a mother or a father. There are only two things that are possible. He never knew them and had been on his own his entire life. Though, so, He's just been wandering around his whole life? I'm not sure. My theory is that he was originally a member of the royal family in Wano, but the royal family was cast out of the country, and Zoro's parents were with him on an island, on that island that he was on as a kid. Something happened, and his parents were killed when he was a young baby, and Zoro, thanks to anime logic, manages to survive as a baby until he's old enough and grows an interest in swordsmanship and begins to wander the land. And eventually goes to the Jojo where he meets his sensei and Kuina. Okay, now on the Kuina! Yeah, it's a one hour prediction video, I have Kuina prediction. Now, I have a video I did on Kuina possibly being the Shogun of Wano. It holds less merit than it used to, but it's still very possible. So I'm going to link it right here, 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 probably here, on screen, and you guys can go check it out. Now, so Kuina, my prediction for her in the art, second to my Kuina, the Shogun theory, and that she is a member of some sort of rebel group. As we know, the Shogun and Kaido killed the Daimo, I believe? But the Shogun and the Kaido had teamed up and they pretty much take her over the island and made Kaido the ruler. There are obviously going to be people that don't like Kaido and don't agree with this, and there are going to be rebel forces. My theory is that Kuina is the head of the rebel forces and will eventually end up meeting Zoro through circumstances I will talk about later in the video. But, so as Kuina leading these forces, she will end up fighting Zoro, and once again, for things I will end up talking about later. But I would like to talk about my boy, Trafalgar Laws! Enough of that cringe? No, but in all seriousness, I believe Kaido would grant the his ability by the Opi Opi no Mi, Room. So, meaning that all the people inside Laws Room. Only people inside Law's room can hurt Kaido. I believe Law can grant other people the ability to hurt Kaido when they're inside his room, and because the OP OP no me granted. Okay, now let's talk about my boy Trafalgar Law. Now, I believe that Law. And one of the only people who can hurt Kaido, because I believe the Opi Opi no Mi 
gave Kaido his immortality, and because Opie Opie no Mi gave him his kid immortality, I believe it can negate it. So I believe Law has the power to hurt Kaido. I also believe he can give other people in the room the ability to hurt Kaido. So he can open up a room, give Luffy the power to hurt Kaido, and they could like Gabonite and King Kong the bastard. Wouldn't that be interesting? No, but in all reality, I just feel that this is probably the only way they can hurt Kaido at all at this point. I don't think they're going to win their fight with Kaido, but I do feel if they fight him, Dick would give them a significant advantage. The Kaido pain tolerance is probably very low. He's probably not used to pain. He's probably like a really extreme Logia case, where he's so used to his immortality saving his ass, when he gets like stabbed through the chest by Law and Sword, he's gonna be like, Is this what it feels like to be stabbed? That is my theory on that. Now I would like to talk again about Loro. So as we know, Loro has an ancient treasure of the island known as his, his Shinsui, his the sword he got from Ryuma. Is an ancient treasure of Wano Kuni. When Kinimo saw it, Kinimo freaked out, immediately blaming Zoro for the stealing of Ryuma's body. Now, I would actually like to see an arc of how Moria stole Ryuma's body, but what you need to understand is that so when people, so when Zoro gets lost and he bumps into people, they're gonna realize he has the sword. In fact, I wonder how that would play out. Alright. You and the red hair. I said you would do me a favor and point me in the direction of the docks. The, the exit to the forest seems to keep moving. It's so annoying. Nobody told me this forest was magic. I would be very pleased to tell you how to escape this place. Just go left, then go ten feet forward and turn right. Hold on a minute, boy. Is that our legendary treasure, Shunsui? What the hell, boy? I'm gonna kill you! And take back our national treasure! Wait, wait, you don't understand. I won it in a fight from Ryuma after he was brought back dead as a zombie on a zombie island by Gekko Morda of the Warlord. Shut up, boy. I don't care. You're just a dumbass that took our treasure. And for that, you will die! Hmm... Eh. Well... That is, the, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds about pretty accurate, doesn't it, guys? But the point is, is that Zoro would, of course, then need to be on the run. And I feel like for most of the arc, will be on the run, getting lost, until he bumps into Kawina, who, when she realizes it's Zoro who had the sword, when she realizes it's Zoro that had the sword, she will, of course, be like, guy, he's cool, he's good. We, we can let him go. He's okay. Now, honestly, I don't have much else to say besides gears. I do not believe Luffy will get a new gear. It is possible, but the chances are pretty low, as I don't think he will. I will be doing a video in a couple of weeks about the possibility of a new gear and what it could be. Um, I'm going to wait until I'm healed up for surgery, because that's going to be a lot more skits than jokes and craziness. I actually had the skits planned for this video, but I, there was a technical difficulty that I had to re-record it. So, and I don't feel up to re-recording the skit. I'm sorry, but I, you know, I just had surgery. So can you guys cut me a break? No, but um, so I don't think Luffy going to get a new gear. If he does, I believe it will have major drawbacks. I say it's 50 50. He could get a new, gear, a new gear, he could not. It really depends on whether or not they fight Kaido and what kind of fight it is. Is it a straight up one on one? Or does Luffy have extreme backup? Like, is it him, Marco, Law, Zoro, Sanji? Is it like a massive kid? X Drake? Is it a massive, like, Seven or ten on one, or is he just looking for the Kaido? That is a very important thing to consider. But yeah, that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more awesome One Piece content. I actually did videos explaining Gear Second, Gear Third, and Gear Fourth. 
and Nami time attack, which I will link after the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and want to see other videos. I do a ton of One Piece Explained videos. I now have a whole theory where I explain the different things about the theory. The Beginner's Guide to One Piece, which I will link in the description box down below, because there will be no room on screen. So go check that out. And guys, above all else, I want you to have a great day and tell me your predictions for the Wano Kuni arc in the comment section down below. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.